Today I want to show you how to add fonts to your iPad. If you have ever wanted to add a font to a specific app or you've run into a problem where you've gotten a warning about fonts not being available, you'll know this is an important thing. Let's say you have Keynote on your Mac and you send it to your iPad. You go onto your iPad and you open it up and you get this message. This presentation has missing fonts. So you tap on it and wow, you realize there are several fonts in your presentation that are not on your iPad and it's not going to look the same without those fonts. So how do you add them to your iPad? Let me show you that today. The first thing you want to do is make sure you know which fonts you need. And so if you press the power and the volume up buttons on your iPad, it will take a screenshot. Then on your iPad, go to the share menu in the top right and send that image to your computer. And this is just for getting fonts when you have them on your computer and don't have them on your iPad. And now over on your Mac, you have that list of all those fonts you need to keep handy that will help you out while you're working through this process. We know the first font we're gonna need is this Lotto Heavy font. On our Mac, let's go into our font book app and then we'll type in the top right here, L-A-T-O. There are a bunch of styles of this font. So in the top here, we'll click on heavy. That was the first one we know that was missing. Now that font book has brought it up, we're gonna right click on that and click show in Finder. And in Finder, we have all these fonts showing up on our computer. We're gonna click on any place else and just go back to Lotto Heavy, the one that we know our iPad doesn't have. We'll right click on it, go down to share, We'll airdrop and we'll send it to our iPad. On the iPad, the font comes in and it doesn't know what to do with this. This is where you need to install an app. There's different ways to do this. I'm gonna show you the way that I do it. You can decide if it's what you want to do or not. You go into the app store on your iPad and search for any font. Type those exact letters in, A-N-Y-F-O-N-T, and this app will come up. I believe it's about $1.99 US. So you'll purchase it, download it. Now it will show up in your share menu. There's more information on any font's website. You see the price there, $1.99 US. Anyfont.app, you can find out more information about this app and the features available there. If we go back into our files where Lotto Heavy is and go up to the top right to the share button, now we can see that any font is an option for us. So we'll tap on it. Lotto Heavy shows up here in our list. We tap on that, and up comes this giant green install button, which we'll tap on. This website is trying to download a configuration profile. We want to allow. This is the only way this app can get these fonts onto your iPad. It now says review the profile in the settings app if you want to install it. So click close. Go in here into settings, and you'll see on the left side it will say profile downloaded. We'll tap on that. It will now bring up this profile and on the top right will be install. We'll tap on that. You'll type in your passcode. You'll go over here once you've typed in your passcode and tap next, install, install profile and tap done. Now that font has been installed on your iPad. If you were to go in and open up that presentation file again, when the warning comes up and you tap on it, the first font is no longer Lotto Heavy because it's now installed. And now you repeat this process for whatever fonts are missing. So I'll show you one more time and then you'll be able to do this on your own, adding fonts if you already have it on your Mac. The next font we're gonna pull up is Source Sans Pro Bold. Go to font book on our Mac, Start typing in source, and that comes up. We right click, choose show in finder. A bunch of these come up, and we need to get source sans pro bold, which is this one. We'll right click on it. Some of you may wonder, why don't you just add the whole family? Each font has to be added one at a time at this time until Apple adds a better way to add fonts to the iPad. So we go back over here to share, airdrop, choose our iPad. Over in the iPad, the font comes up. Now, since we already have the AnyFont app installed, we simply go to the top right to the share menu, tap on it, come down to any font, tap on it. It's opened up. We go over here to Source Sans Pro Bold, tap on that font. Brings up our big green install button, which we tap, click Allow. Profile is downloaded, click Close. Now we go over to our settings. Profile downloaded in the left, tap on that. We have our prompts. Install, enter passcode. That's done, we go up and tap Next, Install and install profile, done. We're back in Keynote, tap on that presentation file. That is no longer on our list of warnings. So you basically keep doing this each time to get all the fonts until all those warnings are gone. What if you open this file up on your iPad, maybe somebody else created it and shared it with you, it had nothing to do with a Mac, or you just know you don't have that font on your Mac. Well, let's look at this one, the very first one here, Nunito Extra Bold. We don't have that on our iPad, let's go get it just using our iPad. 
We're gonna open up a new window and we're gonna type Nunito font. We see it's part of Google Fonts, so we can tap on there at the top, it brings it up. We can go to the top right here and click Get Font, Download. Do you want to download? Yes, that's why we click Download. Now the top right corner of your screen is a little download arrow. We tap on the magnifying glass. You might have to hit done if it brings you back to this and it will show you your file. Here it's zipped, so we'll double tap. Brings up a folder. We know that we need Nunito Extra Bold. So we'll go right here, tap on that one and we will go to the little dots here to share. Choose any font. Again, go over here, type Nunito Extra Bold. Now we have our box again. Same process from here on out. Click Install, click Allow, Close. Go back to our settings, Profile Downloaded, Install, type in your passcode, tap Next, Install, and Install Profile. Then just hit Done, we'll go back to Keynote, and now when we open that presentation file, and we click on our warning, we no longer have that font. We just have these last two to install, and we're totally done. So I hope that helps you out. If you need to install a font on your iPad because it's missing from a presentation, the easiest way is to airdrop it from your fonts on your Mac. And if you don't have that, then you would simply use a web browser to find the fonts online. Use the AnyFont app. Hope that helps you out. Now you can use custom fonts, and you can make sure your presentations are the same between your Mac and your iPad. Just make sure, if you're going to be somewhere without your Mac, that you open up that presentation and check for any warnings before you leave so you can make sure those fonts are installed and you're ready to go. Like always, leave me a question in the comments, things you'd like to see, and we'll keep helping you out to make you a better presenter. Thanks a lot. I'll see you in the next video.